Today we're talking about the engine air filter. We'll see what it does and why it's important. We'll touch on its history and evolution and see the common types available today. And stay tuned as we bust some common myths and see what symptoms indicate that your engine air filter needs replacement. So roll up your sleeves and let's get under the hood. The engine air filter is a simple component in the air intake that helps keep your engine clean. It screens out dirt, debris, bugs, pollen, water, and anything else that blows into your car's grill. It sounds very simple, but here's why it's very important. The air outside contains about 21% oxygen, and oxygen controls how much gasoline your engine can burn. Did you know that your engine needs about 10,000 gallons of air to burn one gallon of fuel? Your engine can create efficient combustion and run optimally if it has the right ratio of air and gasoline. But if your engine air filter is dirty, it limits the amount of oxygen that can reach the engine, and so your engine needs to work harder and use more fuel. On the other hand, if you replace the dirty air filter, it increases your fuel efficiency and acceleration. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, replacing a clogged air filter can improve gas mileage by as much as 10%. But it's not just that. A dirty air filter changes the car's air-fuel balance. This can pollute spark plugs and cause the engine to miss or rough idle. It can also increase the engine deposits and has a direct impact on your exhaust emissions and increases environmental pollution. Furthermore, if your air filter is dirty or damaged, it can inadvertently allow small particles into your engine. And this can cause a lot of damage to internal engine parts like the cylinders and pistons, and that can get pricey to repair. So you can see why it's crucial to replace the engine air filters regularly. Did you know that in the beginning, up until the 1920s, most cars used a water bath filter? It worked by using an air inlet pipe that fed down into a bath of water. The inlet pipe was constricted. That caused the air to speed up, so by the time the air reached the bath, the dirty particles would travel down and get caught up in the liquid. But soon the oil bath filtration method replaced the water method. Oil is thicker and stickier so it was more effective than water in trapping particles and contaminants. But servicing it was messy and labor intensive. That's why paper filters became available around the 1960s. Most car makers much preferred to use the paper filter. Back then, a typical air filter was inside a cylindrical container about 4 inches to 16 inches diameter. It looked kind of like a holiday cookie tin, and it was positioned above or beside the carburetor or throttle body. As fuel injection started to gain popularity, the air filter evolved. Today, cars with fuel injection systems usually have an engine air filter that is flat and rectangular and usually not readily visible when you first open the hood. Let's look at a few types of engine air filter materials. The most common type in cars today is the disposable paper filter. That's because it's relatively cheap, convenient, and capable. It's also easy to service. Paper filters can come treated, pleated, or embossed. The term paper is somewhat misleading because it's considerably different from your standard writing paper or packaging paper. What about the filter frame? Most are either plastic or rubber so they can fit airtight without needing extra gaskets or seals. Another option is the reusable cotton gauze filter, usually with an aluminum frame. They're washable, can be re-oiled and reused, so it lasts longer, even up to the life of the car. So long as you clean and maintain it regularly. The filtering method is somewhat similar to the paper filter otherwise. There are two types of gauze filters. The oiled cotton gauze filter is more popular. The other kind is the synthetic dry gauze filter, which requires cleaning periodically with a proprietary cleaning solution. A third type of engine air filter is the foam filter. We're talking oil wetted polyurethane foam. Some car makers put foam wraps around the air filters. This creates an extra barrier between the dirt and debris and the combustion system, since pollutants need to pass through the foam first before hitting the air filter. Then there's the stainless steel mesh. It comes with different mesh counts with different filtration standards. You see this in extreme modified engine that lacks space for a cone-based air filter. Some people install a simple stainless steel mesh over the turbo to make sure particles don't enter the engine via the turbo. But now let's bust some common myths. Some people believe that removing the air filter will increase horsepower. So technically, yes, you'll increase airflow, but it's so incredibly insignificant, you'll barely notice it. It's not worth the greater damage you'll do to the engine by not having a filter. So I don't recommend it. Here's a question some people ask. Can I drive with a damp air filter? The short answer is yes, it's drivable if you're using a reusable filter. But it's not recommended 
because a damp filter is even more restrictive. The moisture takes up space in the filter, which otherwise could have been used by the air to pass through. Less airflow into the combustion chamber means less power generated by your engine. But it's not just that. Dust that sticks to a damp filter will accumulate and form an impenetrable layer. And that's not good either. Does removing the air filter make the car louder? The air filter is located inside a container that's designed to silence intake sound as much as possible. So no, removing the air filter won't impact sound, unless you remove the container. Guys do that on motorcycles all the time. But what about removing the air filter to increase intake sound? That would increase sound, but I don't recommend that either. Because without that cover, you risk the air filter falling off, and you'll also suck in hotter air from the engine bay and reduce engine performance. So it's not worth the sound gain. A dirty or damaged air filter can suffocate your engine. Fortunately, dirty air filter symptoms are easy to identify. So what are some of the signs that your air filter needs replacement? Well, one of the easiest things you can do is visually inspect the air filter. A brand new filter is white or off-white in color. Over time, as it gets used and it captures and accumulates contaminants and dirt, it turns darker in color, almost brown or black. So you want to see if the condition of your air filter, if it's dark, get it replaced. If it's disposable, clean it if it's reusable. So Sometimes the inner layers have dirt that's not easy to spot. A mechanic can check that in the case. A real easy way to test this, put the filter up to the sun. You should see it really bright. If it's not, replace the clean the filter. Another sign is a decrease in gas mileage. Remember, a dirty air filter reduces oxygen flow. So if you notice your fuel economy isn't where it should be, it could be due to your cars burning more fuel to compensate for the reduced oxygen flow. Let's say your car is a hard time starting or you need to try multiple times to rev your engine to get it going. Well, that could potentially be due to a low air fuel ratio. If the ratio is high on the fuel side, it can cause engine flooding and spark plug pollution which results in misfires, rough idle, or trouble turning over. So normally, one of the first things to check is the engine air filter. Or maybe you noticed unusual engine noises while your car is in park. A normal healthy engine with good oxygen flow has a smooth and even sound. But if you're hearing a vibration, hiccup, or rattle, it could be due to air intake issues, including dirty air filter and polluted spark plugs. Another sign is your check engine light turns on. Of course, that can mean many different things, but one of the reasons can be due to the air filter. If there isn't enough air, then carbon can build up and trigger the warning light. Or it could be that it detects deposits and impurities inside the engine, which is impacting its performance. Regardless, if you see a check engine light turn on, don't ignore it. You should get it checked out. If you're driving your car for a while, you know how your car feels when things are normal. So then let's say you start noticing sluggish acceleration or your car starts jerking when you press the gas or just responds slower than usual. Well, your horsepower could be suffering from suffocation and oxygen deprivation. It could be it's not getting the air it needs to function optimally. So that's another possible sign. What about black sooty smoke coming from the exhaust? Whenever there's low oxygen, fuel can't burn the way it needs. One indication of that is dark sooty smoke. Popping sounds are flames at the end of the tailpipe. If you notice these signs, then you should get that checked out immediately because it can be hazardous. Another sign is the smell of gas when you start the engine. That's because the fuel didn't get burned optimally due to lack of air and will exit through the tailpipe unburned, resulting in that smell. So how often should you change your air filter? Car makers vary on their recommendations. Many recommend every 15 to 30,000 miles. It's always good to check your owner's manual. You can also consult your local mechanic for recommendations. And of course, realize that if you live in a dirty, dusty area, you're going to have to check it more often. The engine air filter is one of the simplest parts to change or clean. You can remove the intake hose attached to the air collection box and lift out the filter. Hold the filter to the light if it looks dirty, especially if you can't see through it. Then you should clean or replace it depending on the type of filter it is. It's a minimal effort, except on some German cars where it's almost impossible to get to. And it's worth the time and money to keep your engine air filter clean. If you want to boost engine performance, prolong your engine life, maintain good gas mods, and protect the environment. But now you tell me, do you have any funny or horror stories with your engine air filter? Please comment below and share. And if you like this episode, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your support.